I like that that recognition of who's who's the voice inside inside yourself and and where is it coming from and, and how do our values um, develop and, and, and mold and shift away from those which we have adopted from the important people in our lives. Belonging isn't necessarily something that we even are aware that we're seeking. And so sometimes it can be gifted to us and it's about a recognition of ourselves and how we feel about ourselves. What was really hard and, and has taken me most of my life to, to reconcile, um, because I haven't always been this cool guy, like, you know, like the whole athlete jock shades. I mean, just, I was a loner. Um, people didn't particularly um, resonate um, to my fields of interest, uh, to, to what I had to say. And, and learning that belonging isn't defined by the number of people around you. I feel it's more defined by how congruent you are with your values. And that people, people will come and go and, and there are learning experiences with that. But it's really important that the place that you belong is with yourself. For me, it's really important to have the explicit conversations, um, whether we perceive them as positive or negative, um, talking about it gives it a name, which means it actually um, removes some of the power from the conversation. So coming out last year and saying, I'm trans, I've known my entire life that I am a man that I, I wanted at the age of six, I wanted to be a husband and a father. But this idea that needing to actually say these things out loud because otherwise we're expecting people to engage in unspoken agreements uh, with unspoken understanding. And so really saying things out loud um, and not, um, not having an expectation on how the conversation should go. And so I come out, I say I'm trans and then what happens next is how I deal with it in the moment. And instead of that thing of, of preempting it or holding back. And I think that it makes it possible for us all to have a greater understanding and an empathy for one another. Because if we're all living in a power struggle or some sort of confirmation bias that everyone thinks the way we do, or you know, secondly, you know, opposes what we do, then we're never actually going to give people an opportunity to step up.